Next you have <coughs> benefits of organization. Benefits of matrix organization. First is the project gain, identity, visibility, resource and support. So it talks about the better chances, it talks about the better chances for project managers to succeed. So uh, it is um, project gains, it mainly talks about how well the plans are executed. Before that you see how well the plans are executed, the plans are executed, it's very very important, yeah. Then it talks about uh, output measures like uh, output measures like resources, yeah, resources, visibility, support, budget, okay. <clears throat> then it gives the preserve for the functional efficiency, technical improvement applied to all projects. So it gives, it preserves the, it preserves, maintains, it preserves means maintains. Yes. The functional efficiency. Okay. Technical improvement applied to all the project, technical improvement, all the engineering based, engineering based technologies. Okay. Then dedicated to all customers. So it's dedicated to all customers <coughs> dedicated means it should be based on their like uh, uh, it is uh, even though it is high co high price high price but they maintain the quality quality of the products so this is very dedicated to the customers then more effective dissemination more effective dissemination more effective dissemination of information career advancement opportunities for project person so what is what is meant by uh, dissemination dissemination actually it is a plan or research findings of a product so dissemination actually talks about um, uh, i mean research findings of products to those who will use the information in practice and it's something that you should be thinking about early early on in start of a project so it is what help you to get the message out whether it is the whether it is the results of the research of a successful implementation so it is actually a research finding simulation means a research finding it is a research finding uh, or products to find mean to those who will use the information they will use the information they will use the information in practice and something that you should think about early. So it's just something, something to think ahead, to think ahead before, before start. Okay. So this will uh, this help you to give a message whether the results are uh, like uh, whether it is they are done in a proper manner, or successful or not. Okay. See, it's, it creates advancement. That's why it creates advancement opportunities for the project person. Okay. Then balance of power. Balance of power. There should be an equal balance of power. There should be you know, any conflicts. Then project termination is not traumatic. Same as I said, the project termination, uh, if there is any member in the project, if he is uh, in the terminated project, he should not be considered in a very low graded manner. Then issues of matrix organization. Issues of matrix organization, it talks about the conflicts like resource conflicts, control conflicts, authority conflicts. So resource conflicts, what is it? So these are the functional managers who own the resources and project managers on their own work. So they are the, like for example, deadlines are impossible. Conflicts means usually when the deadlines are impossible, they could not meet the deadlines. Deadlines, impossible. Deadlines are impossible. <coughs> The insufficient resource. Insufficient resource. Then two projects need the same resources at the same time. So for example, when two processes have same resources, two projects. Same resource. Same time. When two projects have same resources at the same time, then conflict arises. So functional manager owns the resources and project manager owns the work. Then control conflicts. How you have control on these conflicts, like how you handle them. How you handle them is very important. Like how you uh, include avoiding, <coughs> avoiding, then uh, have like a compromising, negotiating, mean compromising, then collaborating. Accommodating all this. So functional managers must give 
some control and power struggle between the uh, power struggle between project managers and functional managers so there should not be a struggle power of struggle as a he should do it or he should do it. so there should be an equal balance between them then an <coughs> authority conflicts one worker two bosses see one worker two bosses here also it creates like who's like where who who I should go and report to me if India just in the case of in case of any issues against the basic management principles and successful employer relationship so it, it talks about authority conflicts then you have excessive administrative overhead see it is like administrative the cost not involved in the uh, development of uh, the production so cost not involved in development cost not involved in not involved in production cost not involved in production of goods so it's essentially a overhead that is not included in the manufacturing so especially like uh, the costs like front office uh, sales and salary of uh, salary of like example salary salary of office workers front office front office workers then supervisors then wages commissions office supplier so all these are the overheads supplier.